Anurag here. Uh, this is a very quick video. Uh, some, some of you actually asked me about the impact of the solar eclipse on the markets. So today we have the solar eclipse, which is on the 20th of uh, April. And solar eclipse usually have an impact on the market. It may be not be seen on the same day, but then definitely it uh, kind of forms uh, pivots in the future. So we'll have a look at the past uh, solar eclipses and then uh, try to figure out as to how how and why it's important. Now this is what you see right now is today's uh, live view where the eclipse is actually total and now it will it is in a phase where uh, it will start clearing up now. So let's have a look at uh, what exactly is a solar eclipse uh, relation with the market. Now before that we'll have to understand uh, you know certain certain things about the moon and the place of the placement of the moon in relation to the earth now there are two types of moon months which is, one is the sidereal month and one is the synodic uh, months now what is the sidereal month so if you see this this video actually explains it well the sidereal month actually is supposed to be a month where the moon returns to the same position now suppose today is the new moon today now there is a amavasya today so this is the new moon location and in this, after this, what happens, the moon starts moving around the whole uh, one complete revolution it does. And this is supposed to be done in uh, around 27.322 days. So this is supposed to be the uh, sidereal month. And this is what we're going to use. This is one complete revolution of the moon. So now let's have a look at uh, the various uh, solar eclipses in the past. So I'll actually pick up the last three, 30th of April, 2022. Uh, we'll go to we'll go to trading view. So we will choose the first first day. The first date that we saw was uh, 30th of April 2022. So this is 30th of April 2022. Now this is actually supposed to be since it is a 30th actually is supposed to be a holiday. So we are we are put taking 2nd May as a date. Now as soon as I plot this on 2nd May, what happens is that uh, what you see the green lines here they are the supposed to be the side real uh, month basically one complete uh, you know revolution of uh, the moon around the earth which is on 27 days so if you see based on this particular period nothing important maybe happened here but then if you see what happens next see what 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 you what you see here is we actually get a bottom here we again again get a bottom and up front here then we kind of get a top and then there's a correction here we get a top and there's a correction here we get a top there's a correction here we kind of get a you know a bottom here and then there's a move up here and again it kind of stabilizes here and then uh, corrects for two days then again from this particular point it corrects down again from this particular point it goes up and it corrects down again from this particular point it corrects down it can be one day on and off because we are using 27 days not 27.33 days so every three uh, three revolutions will have one day as a as a kind of a change, you know, so we can add one or two days here and there Then you can see this here Similarly, there was a change here. It came here and there was a change here, it came here. So this is for this particular day Now let's have a look at another another eclipse. That is let's have a look at uh, 25th October 22 24th October 22nd is a holiday <clears throat> Okay, so now when you plot this here have a look at this again we see here there is a there is a bottom here then there is a kind of a correction which comes down here there is a bottom again here then this kind of uh, you know this up move kind of finishes and a new 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 fresh starts there is a top here then there is again a move up 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 you know towards uh, this current move here now uh, so we see basically that uh, we can also go back and maybe check back in time let's also check this uh, this is supposed to be 6th December 21 6th December 21 is here let's have a look at this the up move, up, up move kinds of uh, stops here again the fresh move starts again here's the price reacts here another move starts the price reacts here another move starts the price reacts here another move starts usually the the first impact is usually till the next you know next uh, solar eclipse and of course uh, there will be lunar eclipses also in between which also has an impact so this is how uh, the eclipses help us uh, in defining market pivots this is supposed to be uh, today's uh, planetary positions now 
on a particular day on a particular uh, day of the eclipse the various there are various planets which are actually at various points now if any of these planets are forming suppose here in this case mars is forming a kind of a square with uh, uranus here so this becomes an important combination so this particular combination on the in the sky the coordinates will again define some pivots in the future similarly here you have got uh, mars with uh, venus forming a kind of a conjunction here so this also becomes very important so the location of uh, these planets here become very important in the sky and often we see that when the when this planet again comes back to this particular location the market reacts this reaction hope this uh, short video helps you in clarifying a few things about eclipses have a wonderful day bye bye